Welcome back to Primetime News. And a special welcome to folks on OneSpotMedia.com. We begin this evening with an update on the situation at Sangster International Airport in St. James. Many are still questioning how yesterday's logistical foul-up was allowed to happen. The virtual shutdown of the airport's runway forced some planes to be rerouted to Norman Manny International Airport in Kingston and just about any other Caribbean territory that could accommodate the flights. As Jamila Maitland reports, normalcy has been restored However, there are some issues that still need to be resolved. Passengers destined for the Sangster International Airport in St. James Friday morning breathed a sigh of relief when the aircraft they were on was able to land and they were able to deplane. Among them were Jamaica's reggae girls. However, it was a different scene on Thursday when the departure lounge was packed with frustrated passengers who sat on the floor to pass time while the airport's management worked to address the issue. Senior strategist in the tourism ministry, Delano Seawright, says more than half of the scheduled and special flights landed on Friday, but there are passengers who are still stranded. Many of the persons stranded um, in Jamaica and outside Jamaica uh, in light of the situation at the Sangsta International Airport yesterday. Uh, a number of them have either come in today or have left today. However, there's still a significant number of people who are still waiting on uh, their flights uh, to get out and into Jamaica uh, between now into, say, Sunday. Uh, and some of them will probably end up at their final destinations on Monday. The public was told that full operations resumed at the Sangster International Airport on Friday, but our news team understand that the Airport's Authority of Jamaica was still working overtime with another issue. Reports are that there were technical issues with the landing instrument at the airport. Transport Minister Darrell Vaz revealed that as of 4.30 p.m. on Friday, of the 66 flights scheduled, 51 flights landed and there were two cancellations. But there were a few flights that were delayed. We were unable to ascertain whether the issues at the Sangster International Airport were the cause. As for Thursday's shutdown, a report is to be provided. I have written a letter today requesting a meeting with the principals of the airports, which is Gap and Pakal, the Mexican principals, the chairman, CEO and COO, to meet with me in Kingston on Monday at 2 p.m. to have a complete and comprehensive look at the situation at both airports. Minister Vaz revealed that more work is to be done on the runway in the airport's downtime. The markings on the runway will be completed tonight to allow for full normalcy to return tomorrow based on the August 10th changeover in relation to navigational procedures based on the new extended runway. Jamila Maitland, TVJ News.